All right, we're here with Roberto. How's it going? Master <laughs> assembler Roberto. I try. Master builder. If he Sometimes. were in the Lego world, he'd be a master builder. <laughs> That'd be kind of awesome. And uh, first off, I want to point out how awesome his shirt is. Let's see your shirt. Oh, yes. Don't be jealous <laughs> that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Is that from something? Uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, but today we're going to take a look at a very unusual chaos dragon mm -hmm. for Warriors of Chaos Army. So yep. go, go ahead. All right, so here we have a two-headed Forge World Carmine dragon. Okay. With a Saint Celestine rider. So converted to have Lance, the wings, and... Right. So in the game, this is going to be like a chaos lord. Yep. I think so. Right. I don't play fantasy, but... Well, it would have to be. It's a chaos army. Yeah, it's got two heads, so... Yeah. So, okay, pretty cool. Now, what I want to do is... Um, so, she's riding side saddle, and yep. you've somehow converted on the male... The, excuse me. The metal, not male. The metal <laughs> Celestine model. Yep. Okay. And then you brass rotted this thing through. The lance. Now, what's this sort of weird envenomed blade screw looking thing on the end. The crystal on the end is okay. a Skaven bit. I just needed okay. a counterweight for the lance and I thought it looked okay. cool and kind of magical. Could be given a glow effect. And... Right. Well, that's awesome. I, I wonder what the story is. but Because a lot of times clients will have like a, a story behind their army. Mm -hmm. So anyway, a lot of green stuff there to make the necks work. Yeah, so I was right. up really early this morning. And I noticed the done. chest has some too. Is that just because there was a big old weirdy resin gap? Yeah, a big gap. Because I want these scales on the top to be flush, so the chest got uh, angled okay. up a little bit. To... Well, it uh, it looks really good. Well, thank you. Any other comments? Um, getting it with two heads was not the most fun thing, but I'm glad it looks good when it came out. So I actually had to extend the necks quite a bit. There's a brass rod from both heads into the base of the neck, and had to extend them off at angles. I tried heating this one, and bending it to the other side. Forge World Resin can be finicky, so there's a lot of gap filling there with green stuff. <laughs> but yeah, did all the uh, scale work by tool and... Well, I noticed and... that the horns on this one are modified a little bit, so it's not exactly the same as the, mm -hmm. as the first one. Yeah, they used to have these like big old horns sticking off the sides, and I trimmed them down a bit so they wouldn't be stabbing each other. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, you, I, you can't even tell. So, I like... I'm uh, pleased with the results, so I like how it came out. All right, thanks a lot, Roberto. You're welcome.